Hey everyone, it's Jiltra here. I am doing a recreation of the look from the Willie Max video, Can't Get Enough. I'm doing a voiceover because I've been really sick and I didn't have energy to talk during the video. So your first step is going to be to add eyeshadow primer to your eyes and just blend it in using your fingertips. Next I'm going in with gold and a brown and I'm using my contour shade. And I'm just putting that in the crease of my lid using a blending brush. I'm also bringing it down the side of my nose uh, to add a little bit more of a contour just so that it blends into the shape of my face. I'm now adding in a, sorry, I'm using a flat, um, a flat shader brush to apply the gold onto my lid and to my brow bone. This gold is very pigmented and I wish I'd used a maybe a soft shader brush It maybe would have made it a little bit more blendable but it is very pigmented especially using that brush it just stayed in place. Now as you can see I'm adding it to my brow bone and as I'm doing this I can see how crazy this looked. <laughs> I had instant level of regrets. <laughs> if I were to do this look over, I would probably use the same color on my eyelid, but I may use a different color on my brow bone. Even though in the video, they are the same color. Um, in video form, recreating a look, this looks terrible. I'm using my contour shade once again, as I've been reading Kevin Aquan books to see what I could bring back from 90 tutorials that will work now. And I'm also just cleaning off the front of my brows, taking off some of that gold because I can see how ridiculous it looked. So I'm just showing you now that that's gone and I'm going back in with the contour and I'm blending it up into my brow bone and trying to blend it into the brow bone highlight. As you can see that color does not blend. It, it's a beast on its own. I can only blend it using my fingers but with a brush not so much. Please excuse my mirror being all in your face, guys. So with blending with my fingers, I actually, I, uh, I guess I took some of the color off, so I just went back in and put some more in there. Now I'm going in with a black eyeliner for the top and a brown lip liner for the bottom lid. Um, I couldn't find my brown eyeliner. So I'm just showing you here that I am doing a very small, Cat eye. Normally I would use a liquid liner, but I really like this liner from ColourPop because it's very smooth and very easy to use. As you can tell, I'm not trying to necessarily tell you what brands this is I'm using. Um, I want you guys to be able to recreate these looks using what you have rather than kind of selling you products. I don't have any coupon codes in the bottom. This is not a sponsored video, so I'd rather just be able to give you guys the colors and what I'm using rather than sell a brand to you guys. Now I'm going to do the bottom lid. I'm using um, this color, this really light brown. I thought it would kind of give me a nice little shimmer. As you can see, it's doing nothing. <laughs> So I went back in with the next brown that I could find, which is the, it is a, uh, kind of like a pencil for your eyebrows. So I went over that using that and it didn't make that much of a difference, but what can you do? I could tell from the screen caps I made and, and watching the video as there are no pictures of this, that they used a brown on the bottom and I'm just filling in my brows. And I'm just going in now with some mascara 
on the top and bottom lids. I couldn't find lash glue, so there are no lashes. <laughs> I'd even try to lay that wig down. It's just flapping in the breeze. Look at it. Just talking to you. That one baby hair. So now I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using a stick foundation for more coverage and I am blending the heck out of this. I probably blended this foundation for maybe a solid two minutes. Here are some trivia about this group. Can't Get Enough was their lead single off of their debut album, Bonafide, which was released in 1998. Now I'm going in with some, found, uh, sorry, not foundation, concealer. And I use a concealer that's normally lighter than what I normally use as their concealers because they were in the dark in the video. I feel like they used a lighter concealer to highlight. And so you can see, so... They had a highlight that went all the way down, straight down the nose, on their forehead, and on their lower cheek. I also didn't do the full all the way down the cheek eye, um, eye concealer. I just didn't see in the video that it looked like it was that prominent on their cheeks. So I'm just using a small stippling brush and I'm just blending that in. And I'm just going over all the edges with my foundation brush. Now these were all techniques that I read in the Kevin Aquan book. Um, he actually uses dark, darker foundations for contours and in the eyes. So I decided to use a darker cream found uh, cream concealer that I had that I never use. I normally use a powder. If you've watched any of my other videos, you've seen me use that same powder. So this is the first time I was using a cream concealer. Not really my thing. And I'm going in with a off-brand blending beauty blender. Um, I still can't bring myself to spend like $30 on a sponge. So that's what you're getting. And that's what I'm serving. So now I'm just doing, I'm just bringing it down the sides of my nose. Uh, they used the, I guess I'm going to call it the generic contour, which is down the sides of the nose, um, on the cheek, not on the cheek, sorry, on the nostrils. If I were to also do this look again, I probably wouldn't, I would try and find maybe a brown that has more of a yellow tone. This was too red for me personally, so I went in with a little bit of a stiff, stiffer, small dome brush, and I'm just trying to blend out the sides and bring it into my uh, my eye look to give it the proper contour. I'm just shaping the tip of my nose. just taking some concealer and I'm highlighting my nostrils as I looked at the video and that's what they had and I was blending it in a bit with my fingertips <music> trivia time once again this group is originally from Detroit Michigan And I'm contouring on the inside of my nostrils just to give it a little bit more of a depth for my face so it doesn't look like I have a pancake nose. 
Just giving some dimensions, highlight and contours, yes. And I'm just blending it all into my eye makeup. Just to give my eyes a little bit more definition as well as a proper flow. And now I'm just contouring my chin. Blending it out. And I naturally have um, an elongated chin, so I contour the sides so you can see that my chin kind of sticks out. And now I'm contouring my forehead. Just literally beating my face with a sponge. I'm going back over with my foundation brush just to blend out all the edges and to soften my nose contour. So now I'm going in with a powder puff. Now this is something very specific that I saw in a Kevin Kwan book. He didn't go over highlights on black skin with like a banana powder. He specifically said he used translucent powder and showed it in the book. So I decided to try it as nothing gets more 90s than Kevin Aquan in my mind. So I did it um, and I'll never do it again. I came out casket sharp. My skin was 50 shades of gray, as you will see. It does nothing to add warmth. As much as people want to say translucent powder works on all skin tones, I have yet to experience that. Um, I don't know what that is. So, I'm just kind of kneading that into my skin, into all my highlight areas. And I'm just trying to take it off of the contour on my nose. Yes. So now I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to overline them as they all have um, prominent lips that are very much bigger than mine. So I'm just going with a dark brown liner. Here's some more trivia. In their Can't Get Enough video, which was released in 1998, as I've said previously, it also stars Raphael Sadiq and features Raphael Sadiq on the track. I'm just making sure that it's all filled in correctly so that it looks bendable so it doesn't just look like I'm wearing fake lips over top of my lips. And now I'm going over that with a dark brown lipstick. And remember to always use a satin or a some sort of a sheeny lipstick when you're doing 90s looks. They didn't really wear mattes like that, no matter what anybody tells you. But wait, there's more. So now I'm going in with this frosted brown lipstick and I'm just going to put that over the top uh, just to give it a little bit more, you know, of a zhuzh, of a, more of a, of a look. Yes, come through queen. So now I'm trying to buff off. <laughs> this translucent powder and as you're seeing I am um, very ashy I am buffing as best I can and it's coming off but I look like those 90s videos and pictures when you see the flash and her skin is white like white this is why because they were using translucent powder I'm going to show you up close how even though I'm sick I looked healthier beforehand that's not cute so I'm gonna go over I'm gonna add some contemporary 
or at least newer concepts so I'm going back in with my contour powder and my usual contour brush just to bring some warmth and some life back into my face <laughs> I'm just going down the sides of my nose and just trying to make myself look alive again. Look at my one little curl. Oh, that, that wipe was a fail. And I'm just going over my face with, um, it's not banana powder, but it is a brown powder from Ben Nye. And I'm just highlighting because I need all the color I can get. And I decided that my crease was too light, so I started going back over it with a brown, like a dark brown eyeshadow. I thought my contour slash foundation powder would come out way more pigmented than it did. So I had to go back over it. I'm just using a brown, and I think I used a little bit of a like a charcoal and I just put a little bit of blush on my cheeks so I want to say thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment subscribe leave a comment down below let me know if there's any other 90s and early 2000s R&B or hip-hop videos that you want me to recreate um, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos and give me time of your day see you guys in 2017 love y'all bye